boxes. Here we go. All right. I'm ready. Let's do this. So this looks okay. You can you can see everything all right? Yeah, I can see. All right. I created some info cards, chat. Um, I've only got the same ones that I showed last time. I haven't added more yet, but I plan on adding all the info cards. I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, maybe even some cards about like what mapping practices, just various like sort of tips and, and tricks and stuff that I can pull up on the, on the screen. Uh, right now I've only got stuff like that. Still pretty cool. All right, and we are underway. Bookworm Tang, here we go. Race number one. So are those fly cards gonna have the, uh, the weapon attack arc in them soon? Yeah, that's the next uh, big one I want to do is have like because that wasn't that was just talking about the type like I, like what is glass gotcha. weapons and then yeah I want to have one that's like what does an axe look like although probably don't need to do that one. <laughs> I mean I think you still should do it. Yeah, there's new people. Yeah, but having a card for all the different kinds of weapons, uh, yeah, prioritize not like whip or axe, <laughs> but you know what does a flail look like? All right, so we had an immediate reset there. Tang gonna go pick up this titanium dagger. Both of them picking it up there, uh, cherishing that bomb that they just kind of I did wasted. not see what was in the blood shop. It was bad. Uh, I also didn't see it, but I, I know it was bad. But considering the exit's right here and saving yeah. the bomb, it's probably totally fine. Yeah, it's worth it. A little bit of extra farming here from Tang. It's gonna be interesting as uh, this season unfolds if we see some shifts in the meta or oh, people- Tang can get the map by bombing. Uh, oh yeah, bomb oh, the walls. No, oh, we mind. got a dragon. Amazing. Perfect oh, I timing. I would have heard that if I was with Mecha Sajin right now. Oh, do you play with the sound on when you watch? Uh, for one of the racers. Sometimes oh, okay. both, depending. Yeah, and reason, with no screen shake. It's hard to infer, but that's okay. We'll be just I don't know why they surprised. don't play without screen shake. Screen shake is a really good part of the game. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> we have a Shrine of Darkness, and even though they have a map, it's worth picking up. And you can see that right now Tang is just drafting Bookworm. I gotta say, shoutouts to Bookworm for really, really improving in that last season. Bookworm has really taken uh, a top-tier position in, in, in racing, which is really cool. This is a nice shop. Heck yeah, Ring of Might. Okay. It's really nice. And so... Uh, once again, Bookworm just a little bit ahead of Tang, but they're still very close together. Yeah, these like little bits of farming that Tang did and just the tiny, tiny efficiencies of earning costs. Wait, what was in that? seconds now. What was in that chest? Did we not know? I missed it. It was probably not good. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming Bookworm checked I it. I think uh, Bookworm opened it, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, do you check? What do you check here? This is uh, a really tough place for Bookworm. I check weapon. Yeah, you check weapon. I have armor. I have a ring that... Plus ones, anything I get. Okay. I have a decent spell. Now, now, if you're Tang and you know that it's an Obsidian Spear, do you still check weapon? I'm probably actually don't take it because it's not that much better. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's not. And and without axes being in the pool. Plus, like if you run into the uh, the Shrine of Peace, you can hit that and get the dagger upgrade too. That's true. Or just an Enchant Scroll. Yeah, there's a lot of other ways to get weapons, uh, but getting a good spell or something can really make a big difference. So, we'll never know what was in that purple chest. Plus, uh, you would run a jewel dagger over an obsidian spear, right? And yeah, oh, Three absolutely. damage dagger standing still is, like, close enough. Yeah, I agree. That, I think you just take that. All right, we got a war hammer there, not going to take it. Going to swap over to pain, pain. ring of pain. I guess Ring of Pain would have been a lot worse with the Titanium Ring, I think. Uh, it would have been about the same. Actually okay. better, because you have basically Piercing Harp around you in addition to doing two damage to your I guess target. it's true. Yeah, no, that's a great point. All right, Bookworm just going to move on. Uh, did a throw bomb. And uh, doesn't even want to check from the Flawless. Just going. Uh, it looks like Tang's going to check. I think that's wise. We're still close enough. Oof. Hmm. Oof, broadsword Oof. though. Uh, and you can definitely see the screen peeking from Tang. Tang immediately going to this shop. When you see the first movement, like with the first beat being the right movement. <laughs> that's that's so funny. Tang, stop. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. I was like, it's been so long. Why is there no shovel of courage? It's... Like they went through the whole pool. It's in the shop. Well, you got to get it. Okay, he's going to bomb first. Nice. Down rat. 
Interesting. Interesting. But still okay. Yeah, it's fine. I think that down rat is behind both right rat and uh, up rat in terms of where I'd place it, but that's fine. Uh, down and right are about the same. Yeah, they're similar. It's just that's where I put dove. I put dove down. True. But I also Brad's don't blame people for not, like, because the only reason to put it one way is to, uh-oh, are we throw bombing? Oh, throw pulsing. Okay, that's allowed. Throw a fireball, throw a <laughs> pulse. Second there, I was. Throw, throw. <laughs> okay, this is fine. And a potion. Ooh. So Bookworm pretty much uh, is probably going to win unless somehow Tang just like makes up a lot of time here. It's, it's close still. That's yeah, the thing. It's it's, I mean, it's I, like I a saw... four though, which... Listen, if you go back to like the efficiency of Tang's exit in zone three there, where uh, there was a couple of golems. So I was, oh. that would have been zone two. A couple of golems. The catch up right there. And uh, the way that he handled the escape of those golems was much faster using the pulse spell. So it's those little efficiencies that can catch you yeah. up. Tang was slipping a little early with the efficiencies, but now has uh, definitely. Yeah, it's like, super close. They're neck and neck now. They're like one room away instead of a floor. So. I feel like Tang's. Oh my uh -oh. god, there goes the potion. Book where yeah, I'm pushing through. That's the use of your potion, I guess. I mean, if you don't use it, you never used it, so I think that's good. Sure. <laughs> yeah, As long as Bookworm doesn't die, totally good. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm seeing is slightly more efficient play from Tang, but Bookworm uh, not farming as much. So we're seeing Bookworm has skipped all of the boss chests, except for the first one. Yeah. And I think Tang's going to skip it here. I mean, skipping the Zone 4 boss chest is pretty standard. Yeah, I don't know what else you would really want. Uh, I mean, you would want a better weapon, but the trade-off of not getting it just means you lose even more time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really hard trade-off because you just don't know what you're going to find. And it's just a gamble every time. All right, we're seeing pretty identical plays here uh, between both. You know, having the pink shovel here in zone five means you pretty much just avoid everything. Eat the ham, please. Eat the ham. Yeah, you should Spooky. eat the ham there. With only chain, you could get one shot by some of these big enemies. Oh, and that was a super easy room. Slight lead. Oh, Tang getting a hit. Tang still has the potion though. And we yeah, got this is easy really just left gonna side scoops. Come down to lures. Oh, oh pain made it easy. It's okay. It's all good. No! Very, uh, very bad. Very bad. I saw it happen. Very bad. Oh, Unfortunately, no. very bad. Very bad. Very bad indeed. I don't think I have the replay still. No, it's gone. That's why you uh, you dismount that rider. You have the time to dismount that rider. You should dismount that rider. That's so sad. And so the lid just closed on Bookworm there at that end. Dead Ringer. It's just bad spawns. Yeah, and when you don't have a move attack weapon, that is a very real possibility with Dead Ringer. Yeah, any two range weapon, when you, you can't go up to the gong like that because the skeleton from the right side uh, will move from the top of the room and not go down, so he's always up there. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Unless it's a rider spawn, which it was at the beginning, so. Sure was. Yeah. Well, there was a lot of riders. It looked like there was at least three there. Oh, we got a red dragon. Nice pulse down there. That's unfortunate. Bookworm was was speeding ahead, had a little bit of a lead. Yeah, I mean, this is the makings of a really good matchup. We're gonna see another race right now. Congrats to Tang, taking the first game. I'm gonna see if this works. It didn't, all right, hold on. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, maybe this? Oh, that uh, looks great, that looks real good. It's all close. Right. Yeah, we're almost there. You can kind of see it, okay. You can see pain, that's all I saw. Maybe I can maybe I can do this. Oh, this looks really nice. I like what's happened here Here you go chat. They're getting their next race set up. So I'm just gonna do this right now. There you go We can just have it off to the side like that. That's cool Very professional So that anyways here it is that isn't optimized. I'll fix that in a second. All right, let's get back to it. Apparently I can't oh. fix it on, uh, yeah, that's fine. Do you get, are you getting, um, studio I'm mode? I'm seeing half of it. Yeah. 
Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Very interesting. That's not the case for everybody else. That's only for you. <laughs> no, I, I know. I I know this is interesting to see half of studio mode only, though. Oh, you're only seeing half. That is weird. Yeah, I'm only seeing what you're trying to fix and not what's live. <laughs> that's the opposite of what studio mode should do. Hey, chat, do you have any questions about armors or weapon types? Because <laughs> I got you covered. All right. Blame backpack on that one. That's fine. You can blame backpack for a lot of things. Okay, black chest here. Uh, and it's a broadsword. Yep. It's like, what, a 50% chance? Yeah, I feel something, like it's like Something 80. like that. It's something uh, that's, like 50%. Okay, we're fine. I got a little spooked there with that bomb trap for the bookworm. Obviously, it's still super early, so it wouldn't have made a big difference, but... Yeah, well, they're like beat for beat right now. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, in the this tier of racing, every little bit matters uh -oh. so much, right? So. Tang didn't kill that skeleton in this little bit of time there. Yeah, it's all those little efficiencies you see at the beginning that's pretty cool. Because you know that they've got... Like, there is an optimized way to travel through the floor, generally. Like, a lot of the yeah, decision the making caught up and... Yeah. yeah. Like, right there, Tang made it so the skeleton, well, was stuck in the wall. Yeah, that's another really great thing. Like, think about how many beats it's going to take you. It's it's like, if you come down to, like, do you dig through a wall or do you go around it? You want to always dig through it if you're trying to get to the other side of that wall, right? Oh, so that was it's a really like... smart remap by Tang. Like, kind of, just, like, realizing the exit's bottom left and, like, went up and around. Yeah. Oh, that stupid zombie resetting the oh, seven beat okay. counter there for that leprechaun. There it is. Milking it a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of milking. Some more gold. Nice. I don't know how I feel about that personally. I don't like milking the leprechaun unless I know <laughs> there's something nearby that I can use the money on. I think it's, it's a gamble. Yeah, but it's worth the beats usually. Well, we're going to see here. I mean, zone, one, three shops are generally pretty good, and we're going to get probably oh, a titanium staff. This. Yeah, that's pretty, oh, that's pretty good. That's good. It all now depends on what that black chest is here for Bookworm. If he gets something really bad, this is going to be excellent. That was an excellent play for Tang. Tang missing out on a bit of a staff play there. It's all good. Hello, Squega. All right. So let's see what this black chest is. Yeah, staff kill here uh, is always good on Kanga. I love it. Because you got all those zombies to help you. Ooh, oh, this is okay. spicy. Dude, it's not a you don't swap good. though. It's okay. Oh, oh, shield, shield spell, spell for Tang. Bad. That's really good. The gambling paying off. I don't even know if you pick up that glass torch. What do you think? I guess it's mapping. Um, it's really good mapping. So yes. I only had a glass. Plus, like torch you have button. the staff, so the uh, the rates etc. aren't as bad because they usually die off screen. That's at least true. in the early zones. Oh, taking a taking a wind spell there, and there goes this the glass torch. Easy come, easy go. Well, I guess he never took it. Well, yeah. we're gonna see never that same wind spell there for Bookworm, getting both razors. There's some more spells. Ooh, that's a red dragon. Watch out. Mmm, I think you... Oh, you can't afford it. I was gonna say, you take that scroll anyways, in case you find, like, a base rape here. So that's or a good for Bookworm, but I don't think you use it. Oh, you think the orange... it. Yeah, well, you can't afford it. I don't think the blood shovel is worth it, either, really, honestly. I don't know. That's me as a personal racer, though. I guess you have no bombs, so you want the blood shovel, but... Yeah, that's true. You could just find any rapier, and then suddenly it's, at worst, glass, and at best, obsidian or titanium, like... That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Crossbow. That is a bit of a downgrade, I think. With darkness? <laughs> darkness crossbow is such a meme. Okay, so the it's only, it's only It's only the combo. You never get them alone. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, you're going to get a crossbow. You're definitely going to. Yeah, probably should just keep it unloaded, honestly. There is a cat there. It's a glass cat. So Tang's going to stay with it, but uh-oh, we got Ooh. a runner. We got a fireball. Okay, yeah, see so if uh, needs to find someone that. had taken that uh, that scroll for the uh, enchant, like that cat would have been great. Yeah, but where was that cat? Because uh, I think it's down from here. Bookworm might not find it. It's going to check the shop for anything. Okay, that's hard to Cookies. Yes, yeah, but this is costing so much time. 
I mean, I think one damage dagger worse than this in terms of time costs, though. That's a good point. I think, isn't that the chest there? Straight down. Can't. I don't know if it's on 3 3 or not. We got a ring swap for Tang. All right, chat. Everybody's favorite thing. Staff in zone four. See, that's the kind of thing I want to make an info card for. It just sort of explains why this is such a good meme. Another potion, though, so that makes Tang feel a lot better about oh, random sure. warlock hits. Plus, oh. like, shield spell. Yeah. Really good. Whoop. Speaking of which. A little hello port over there. Hello. All right, we did do a nice throw fireball there on that deep blues. Bookworm's going to be checking probably black here. It's a glass oh, sphere. This no. is tragic. Oops, all glass, the seed. Oops. Literally every yeah. boss chest so far. All it took was that one titanium staff at the beginning. Everything else was glass. And misses out on the ring swap, too, because of that. Oh, and then we have broken glass. Oh, this is just absolutely oh, awful. You should, eat it. you should eat the ham. Yeah, there is a potion coming up here. And that... Yeah, that Nightmares really opening it. Speaking of potions, quaffed potion there for Tang. Holy moly! I uh, agree with this aggressive fireball used by Book, uh, Bookworm right now to catch up or like stay somewhat caught up. Yeah, and he's gonna check. Here is a non. Oh my god! It's a freaking gold spear. Also, oh, wait a second. You absolutely take the enchant scroll. I'm sorry. If you break it, you get an enchanted dagger. So, like, you should have taken the enchant scroll. I'll still back on that. <laughs> yeah. But what about blood shovel? <laughs> uh oh. Fireball, please. Bookworm. I would have just oh farmed for it. God. Wait, no, I would bomb for it because you're going to use it to replace bombs. That's true. Oh my god, this is so painful right now for Bookworm. Just getting nothing. Nice gold kill though. Checking more uh, shovel courage. Okay, that's that's yeah. You gotta okay. have you have yeah, to take yeah. you have to take the guy. Doesn't take the guy. That fear in all the oh, things. Oh, that's a good fear actually. Yeah, there was a cluster of enemies out there. All right, a full floor behind right now. Tang about to get into zone five. Very aggressive play here from Bookworm, but with one oh, damage. Man. That's scary. Yeah, like, I think you're right scary. about the guy. Like, you gotta, you gotta be the guy. Uh oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my no, we got courage shovel, so it's okay. Uh, even though Bookworm's Ish. behind, I can't take my eyes off these plays. It's insane. No, that was a really good exit on one damage. Like, applause for that. Absolutely. Also, wrist charm active now, so build somewhat better. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be able to. Okay, the uh, freeze. Uh oh. You need him to come down. Well, they, they have a uh, snow bro, so this is reasonably okay to fireball the tentacles. Uh, this, is uh, this is this is death. No, it's not. Death. It, it oh, is. Oh, freeze! It, it's death. Uh... Oh, holster. Gotta look at your mini map. Holster. They had a holster. They could have just flipped over to a weapon. I forgot they had the holster. I didn't know they had a weapon in the holster. Yeah, they, they, they had, had a shard, dagger. Right? Yeah, the shard. Oh my god, that was crazy. I mean, shout out to Bookworm for even getting anywhere close to Tang in that. I mean, that 4-3 exit was amazing. Oh, baby. We I'll got be back in like five minutes. <laughs> An entire eternity later. Oh, with the staff, though. Oh. A little cute there little staff go. play. There you go, Chad. That's one for the fans. Wow. Uh, not bailed, but that makes this a lot easier. Yeah, Old Faithful was in 1-1. One, one. That's kind of funny, given all the uh, glass. Alright, we're going to do a nice, safe bomb out here. We're going to dig out for the early hit. Five more hits remain. Tang to take game two here. I mean, that one is not entirely on Bookworm. Bookworm's death in the previous race, maybe. I but... don't know. Not taking the enchant scroll. It was right there. Uh, honestly, like, Tang's gamble paid off really well on the seed is what it, what it comes down to. Like, yeah. there's no weapons that weren't glass everywhere else. Where was that staff? I can't recall. The staff was in the 1-3 shop. Uh, after milking the leprechaun, he got a 300 gold. Oh, that's right. So. Yeah. That's it. That's all it took. 
GG's. Oh, I should have saved that. Oh, my replays are all screwed up anyways, but that exit for Bookworm and was it 4-2? Really yeah, it was four two or four three. It was somehow super clean, almost dead, but like getting through like it was like three golems and blade masters and yeah, there was like a did it so well. Bomblin that that blew up like half the enemies, which was really awesome. That was that was a great race. GGS, go Condorks. Yeah, I hope all of you are enjoying season X, Condor X so far. Our tenth season, crazy. It's a lot of seasons. So many seasons. Yeah, it's been fun. Monster Racer once again has been racing all of the all of the races. I don't know Monster Racer's uh, current stats, but it's a crazy number. I'm sure, somebody knows just how many races they've already done. Uh, by the way, coming into this race, Bookworm has played quite a number of races. Is seven and eleven coming into this? So is now seven and thirteen. Best win was a 709 though, solid. And the average is a 913. Tang has only raced one match before this and did 3-0 uh, with a best win of a 737 and an average 834. So uh, hard to draw a lot of conclusions from that, especially given that we've just gotten started with the season. Yeah, if I remember correctly, like, Tang didn't race a lot of like additional races last season either. That was a nice reset there from Bookworm. Uh, was going to take some hits either from Ooh. Red Bats or Skeletons and recognize that really early on to avoid it. And that was yeah, the nicest weapon. Bat Claws that I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Did you see that? They just all yeah, jumped into the way. Easy. <laughs> Sometimes it happens that way. Sometimes Most of the time it like doesn't. That. Yeah. Oh, Tang and the Leprechaun on 1 1 here. Now, what was in that oh, crate? No. Do we know? Quite. I think it was gold. Was it just gold? It'd be nice to get up to 100. Tang, Tang opened it and didn't get anything. Yeah, Tang just got 100. What do you go? Ring? Shovel? Uh, I think shovel's not a bad argument, just because, because I think you're going to find like, a shovel, blood shot, right? Because, yeah, you guarantee yourself the blood shot without spending a bomb. Ooh, boots of pain are my favorite boots. But with this weapon, you don't really need them. Yeah, I don't think you're getting those. Yeah, so that would be the shop to get into. Although, look at that bomb just sitting right outside it. Very nice. And in this blood shop, it's bad. We're just going to go. Is okay. Yeah, the torch is good, but you're looking for, like, real good stuff. I mean, getting the blood drum there isn't horrible either. Like, you kill the blood shop deeper in two hits, so it's faster. But I don't know how useful, like, that item's good, but it's also not good at the same time because it takes up your consumable slot. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think the blood shovel is pretty much almost always worth. Oh, that was a really nice play the there. The shovel by... or the drum? Sorry, the dr that's what I meant. The drum. Yeah, blood drum. Oh. I meant to say that. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, hold on. <laughs> All right, we're checking shops here. We're doing a lot of farming. Mm, yeah, you want that. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, Blood Rapier with the Ring of War. Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Oh, really good. I might take that War Drum even. Eat the cheese, pick up the War Drum. It's only 13 bucks. Ooh, some, some, especially item. in, well, I guess with war, with uh, Rapier Knockback, maybe it's not that necessary. You don't really need to do a lot of damage because you just plow things away from you. Yeah, I mean, that three damage threshold is good enough for most of the everything. I don't like know if you would war drum in particular for anything. Just like those green banshees. Kill. Well, I was more thinking like golem zone too, but yeah. Oh, Bookworm's yeah. skipping. Bookworm's just happy to just go. And I guess, yeah, you're this far back. I mean, the purple item was the fireball scroll, so. This is actually the make sense. perfect example of when it looks like someone's super far behind, but this is just a really quick zone too. Like, sometimes that happens where it's like, wait, how is Bookworm already a zone behind? It's like, no, no, just a quick zone two. Like, look at this, already no, no, done zone two. Trapdoors. Yeah. Still a little bit behind, though. Yeah, but I think Not, like, uh, incredibly, though. Bookworm's build absolutely can ca catch up here. Um, the iframe. That's, there it is, got it. Oh, and flawless, cool. Yeah, they iframe the, uh, the knight with the cheese 
they lost their cheese for that though, but I guess they just didn't recognize that the opening wasn't up the middle. Sometimes it's hard to... Uh-oh. Um, it's okay, we have Ring of War. If we didn't have Ring of War, we were dead. Yep. And and it is a we do have regen and oh nice that's good yeah not gonna be taking a base staff here Tang taking a hit luckily quartz armor those goblins hurt oh no before I'm reading the map wrong yeah that's, that's bad put them zone a three. Lot. Oh, but got a Blast Helm. Oh, I guess uh, Tang got that as well. That was a nice beetle. Scoop. Yeah, just knock it back. As long as there's space for it, it doesn't get snagged. So, oh, that was a really fast 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, Bookworm keeping close. Pretty much showing up on the zone boss as soon as Tang leaves it. Oh, nice pick up. Oh, Seven the bomb big charm. Bombs. I mean, you pretty much have to do that if you want to keep up, I think, it's before. Go get that bomb charm. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, going through zone four with the uh, bomb charm and blast helm is just super free. Like, yeah. you don't have to worry about pretty much anything in the zone. You just hit the bomb button. That's when you want, like, some courage items. So you can just get yourself into the middle of a crowd and then, yeah. bam. Plus, you can hit all the gargoyles now, which uh, Bookworm just did to, like, through that room faster. Really useful item. Uh, together they're amazing yeah i mean bookworm has a chance bookworm has a much faster weapon here just needs to make it happen i think Still the blast helm is equalizing the uh the weapon differential right now a little bit yeah that's fair and we're gonna see a mystery weapon take it's a harp not sure on the yeah, you, you style keep it. yeah harp is faster for sure than longsword Nice, there it is, just deleting everything with those yep. bombs. Crazy. That was really nice. The telemonkey. I think it's a, oh, it's hard to say. They oh, had... I killed the telemonkey. You gotta take those. This push, you don't wanna take that one though. Oh boy, that's a, oh nice, those scoots. Very nice from Bookworm. It's gonna be hard though, Tang's got a pretty decent lead here in the late game. Yeah, I think finding the harp uh, is just going to like cement Tang staying ahead. He's not going to get snagged on anything now. Yeah, that's a good point. And he's navigating zone 5 very well right now. Yeah, I don't know. There's I still mean... a quartz armor though, so we do have fake armor. Yeah, and both racers at two hearts and quartz armor. Plus, we do have that... Oh, I guess no. Sorry, I was thinking that Tang was still on... Never mind. <laughs> on Longsword for the Dead Ringer snag, but no, with... you're right with this. It should be fine. There's some food, oh. though. Look where I'm cleaned up that 3-1 so much faster, but Tang on 3-3. Just not enough. Oh, man, I love that Electro step there for, for Bookworm. Bookworm here really pushing. Oh, oh, the devil popped out of the egg. And we're going to see, yeah, they, hey, they it's don't your die to bombs. Is this going to work, though? Uh, oh. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it was supposed to be your strat, but it looked yeah, like... Yeah, no, uh, it was not. Something was wrong. Something was definitely off, and we are off the rails. Careful, but it's going to be just fine. Ring of War is helping uh, just keep the crowd away. And, uh, yeah, this is fun. Good times. This absolutely would have allowed Bookworm to catch up, too, which is pretty tragic. Oh, yeah, for sure. Are we going for like a ward? Okay, there it is. There it is. Didn't know if they were going for like a knockback hit on the gong or something. And another yeah, death for Bookworm, yeah. Seals yeah. the deal. All three races very close up until that point. Yeah. Fun fun race though. Yeah, it was good. That one was a little bit better than race two, just because I feel like Bookworm, while while behind, had the weapon to catch up. Whereas, of course, in race two, it was just glass, 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 and sketchy. It's hard to have glass and try to catch up because it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot yeah, of I'm trying to remember if there's anything like big that happened in that run that was like so different in terms of time, like going for the rapier, and then I guess just it never really panned out. 
that the rapier was that much better on the seed. Well, I think it was what you said about the blast helm, right? It just kind of equalized it. Oh yeah, that too, and then the harp. When G -G. like before I'm started closing the gap, yeah. G -G. All right, so Tang takes it. Well done, Tang. 3-0 on Bookworm. Tang's going to move to his 6-0 record after week one. Very nice. All right. What am I doing? Where am I going? Secret crystal. Secret crystal. I don't know what you're talking about. Nice. A little bit out of date, but that's the one. All right. You're going to see a bunch of weird shenanigans. Never mind. It's it. okay. 